So, Konami bans self-destruct button, but they give me chicken race. <laughs> what is up, you guys? It is a real R32 here, and yes, I will admit, I ripped this off from uh, Mega Capital G. Uh, he saw this in one of his dual videos, and he was able to get the guy's deck profile. And I want to profile it myself because, honestly, this just reminds me of self-destruct button all over again, except in the form of chicken race. And I just love the fact that Chicken Race has a troll face on it. And the design does actually look pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's <laughs> dive into this here. So, I'm just going to say right now, I've already ftk people like five times. Like, some people would just rage quit. Like, the moment I drop Royal Magical Library and some spells and they just rage quit. Um, but, yeah. So, let me kind of give a backstory here. So, the whole point of this deck is to Chicken Race the deck into Magical Explosion and Life Equalizer. Like, that that's literally the deck. Magical Explosion plus Chicken Race plus Life Equalizer, the deck. <laughs> so let's jump into this here. So you run three Royal Magical Library, for obvious reasons. Three Thunder Dragon, and that's it for your monsters. Like, that that's literally it. You run six monsters, 32 spells, and two traps. Um, the Thunder Dragon's just for searchability. That's really the only reason. Uh, Royal Magic Library self-explanatory because of all the spells. Um, so this is where it gets interesting. Uh, three Chicken Race and three Pseudo Space. So these are your six field spells along with your triple terraforming. <clears throat> uh, what Chicken Race does is this card uh, allows you to uh, pay a thousand life points to activate one of these effects. So it says the player with less life points takes no damage. Okay. Once per turn during either player's main phase, the turn player can pay 1,000 life points and activate one of these effects. Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this effect's activation. So you can either draw a card, destroy this card, or your opponent gains 1,000 life points. So obviously you're going to be drawing a card. And then you run Pseudo Space, which is once per turn you can remove and play one field spell card in your graveyard to have this card be treated as that card and gain the same effects until the end phase. So the typical play is you activate Chicken Race, pay 1,000 life points, draw a card, Activate terraforming, get pseudo space, activate pseudo space over the chicken race. Pseudo space's effect will banish the chicken race, pay another thousand life points, and draw another card. And, oh, it's Gage. I don't know this guy. Elomeo, what's the trap card that does turn damage for each spell? Magical explosion. Sorry, I have people messaging me at the same time. Um, because I, I, two guys were watching me play this deck against uh, this guy who I just beat him on the first turn. So, <laughs> and it was funny because. Um, I went to go use Magical Library's effect, because I had Cursed Bamboo Sword attached to it, and the guy chained MST, so I got a second, I got, I got a second counter on my Royal Magical Library, and then I just used Cursed Bamboo Sword's effect to get Broken Bamboo Sword into my hand, and then I activated on Royal Magical Library, giving me a third counter so I could draw a card. Uh, but we'll get to that. <laughs> so your three terraformings for obvious reasons. Triple Magical Mallet, Triple Reload, Triple Upstart, Triple Into the Void, Triple Cursed Bamboo Sword, Three Golden Bamboo Sword, and the one Broken Bamboo Sword in case you need it. Um... Curse Bamboo Sword, uh, in case you don't know what it does, it's the Equipped Monster gains zero attack, uh, same thing as Broken Bamboo Sword, and you can target one other Bamboo Sword card you control, return it to the hand, and if you do, the Equipped Monster can attack your opponent directly this turn. You can only use this effect of Curse Bamboo Sword once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Bamboo Sword card from your deck to your hand, except Curse Bamboo Sword, so that's how I got the Broken Bamboo Sword, was because he used MST to pop that. And then Golden Bamboo Sword, activate only if you control a Bamboo Sword, equip a spell card, draw two cards, and then Broken Bamboo Sword, obviously, Equipped Monster gains zero attack. It's so good, right? <laughs> Uh, and then we have the two Magical Stone Excavation. Um, the typical play I usually do is once I searched out my two Thunder Dragons, I just activate Magical Stone, pitch both Thunder Dragons to search for another spell. And then just one Pot of Duality and one Soul Charge. Um, you're probably only going to be playing one Duality because of the fact that you're going to be winning on the first turn. And then the Soul Charge, just in case, like, if you need to, like, pitch a Royal Magical Library for something, you can go Soul Charge, bring it back, and then start activating your spells. And then Life Equalizer, Magical Explosion, and round off the deck. Uh, Life Equalizer, in case you don't know, you activate this card when the difference between both players' life points is 8,000 or more. Both players' life points become 3,000, and then Magical Explosion activate only while you have no cards in your hand, and flip 200 damage to your opponent for each spell card in your graveyard. So, once you've gone through your whole deck, because literally you can go, you can draw through your entire deck, you've probably activated it into the Void by this point, so you set the Magical Explosion and the Life Equalizer, into the Void's effect will activate, uh, making you ditch your whole hand, because at the end phase after you've played him, then you have to discard all the cards in your hand. Your opponent's turn rolls around, so once their draw phase happens, you activate Magical Explosion, and then chain Life Equalizer, because you've probably played the upstarts by this point, and you can usually get yourself down to about 3,000 or 2,000 life points once you've used each chicken race and uh, each pseudo space. So that puts you down to 2,000 life points already. And you've played some upstarts, probably three by this point. So they're sitting at 11,000. So you activate that, chain the life equalizer, and you win the game. 
So yeah, guys, that's the deck. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I think this deck is a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, go and try it out. Uh, just not on me, on DN. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.